record, I mean, the people who are saying that this wasn't uh, related to Islamic jihadism, uh, there are several witnesses who told the police that they heard him say Allahu Akbar. Uh, he also... No, that's not what they mean. I mean, they, what they mean is, is not that he wasn't motivated by Islam, but they say like... What he know, did wasn't just, Islamic. That's that and also, and also what pushes people over the edge to do something like that is not Islam because there's many Muslims in um, in the conditions that people grow uh, grow up with the discrimination that they fear is the lack of hope the poverty the lack of sense of belonging that is what pushes people over at the edge because you see Muslim communities there are not other Muslim other Muslims are not doing this right there are many other Muslims that are living you know they are there's you know you know, like muslims in canada are not doing this for example right yeah well, um, i mean there are so, other people who are in like more oppressed conditions also uh from other groups that are not doing this as well uh, they don't yeah because they don't subscribe to an ideological system that uh so we'll, we'll get to that but let's yeah. let's add just some of these issues right but so we'll get to those yeah good yes i i said there are so what this guy did was again uh, he, he beheaded him um, pretty close to the school where he taught. Right? He was a middle school teacher. Um, he yelled Allahu Akbar during the attack, according to witnesses. And then uh, what he did was uh, he went online, right, and on Twitter actually. And his uh, he had a, a he had a pseudonym uh, over there that was the prosecutors and law enforcement authorities identified as belonging to him. His name was Abdullah Anzorov. Uh, the murderer, um, and he posted a photo of Samuel Pati's severed head, and he posted it with a message saying, quote, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to Macron, leader of the infidels, I executed one of your hellhounds who dared to belittle Muhammad, calm his fellow human beings before a, car before a harsh punishment is inflicted on you, end quote. So that was his message when he did it so clearly like there's no doubt about his motivation may have had mental health issues he may have you know a whole bunch of other things all of those issues come up and i guess we're going to talk about it later uh, but that is what he cited was his primary motivation um and he although he acted alone and he was the one person who did it uh, there were several things uh, going up going on before the murder happened right so when Paki actually showed these images uh, in the classroom, that there was another parent of another child um, named uh, Brahim uh, Chinina. Well, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's how it's written. Um, he accused Patti of disseminating sort of obscene images to middle school students. Um, and he made a YouTube video, he went online, and he said that Patti had displayed, um, you know, the image of Muhammad. Um, he he mentioned Samuel Patti by name. Uh, he actually gave the address of the school, and then he also asked other parents to join him uh, and and start a movement against the teacher, right? Against Samuel Patti. So that was uh, one aspect of it. Uh, there was a a mosque, um, what a, a prominent mosque uh, that also. Uh, published a video related to this on their Facebook page, and this was around a week before the murder happened. Um, that was also that that had a lot of threats against Patti as well. And then for some reason they came out later on, and um, they tried to walk it back, and they started talking about how Islam is a religion of peace, uh, when they had actually, in a way, put out these threats online, uh, and this guy had been motivated. So it wasn't just one guy. When we're talking about um, you know, one person who went crazy, who had a psychotic break or, you know, whatever it is. We've got his message. We've got his motivation. We have this group of people. Um, the, the girl's father who had initially filed a complaint, by the way, his daughter wasn't even in the class. Right? So Susanna's saying, I can't get the image of his eyes rolled back and severed head out of my mind. I haven't even seen it. I don't know if I want to. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, obviously it's brutal, but this there were many parties that were involved in this, right? There was an ideological basis for this. And this brings just to light the idea of 
um, freedom of speech versus blasphemy. Uh, so, so the two things, one of the parents who, the, the parent of the girl uh, who initially did the most complaining, uh, his daughter wasn't in the class. The second thing is, Patti had actually told the Muslim students in his class, he'd given them the option of leaving. Like, you know, I'm going to show this if you want to leave and if you feel this will offend you, you can leave the class. So he, let's be more clear. So he told the students that I'm going to show cartoons of Muhammad. The, the subject is about freedom of expression, but I don't want to force this on anybody who doesn't want to see it. So if there's any Muslims who are offended by this, they can leave the class right now. Right. So he gave yeah. them that option. All right. He did. Um, right. So, but here's the thing, Ali, you, we're, you, you seem to be trying to make this bigger than what it is like, the other Muslims who were complaining about this class, the mosque, and also the person, the parent, even if he didn't have the kid in the class who was complaining, they were also, they didn't participate in the beheading. Of course not. They're, yeah, and they didn't condone it. They were just complaining about something that they didn't like. And they were exercising their freedom of expression. And now we see Macron going out and closing down, down the, like the mosque. What did the mosque do? The mosque that was like complaining about the teacher. Like I'm seeing a lot of people um, talking about the mosque that this is more than just one guy. But it seemed like, no, it was just one guy. Everybody else was just highlighting this. They the, didn't the like mosque it. put out threats. What kind of threats? I'll look them up right now. But go ahead, make was a case. It was it death threats? It wasn't death. Probably. Threats. Uh, well, look, Armin. That's not. I mean, the point. I'm. I'm not saying that everybody called for his beheading exactly, and this is what they did. That's not the way that these things. But threats work. mean like there should be consequences, as in the teacher should be fired. Like threats could be threats of like getting the teacher fired. Well, yeah, uh, I'll find out. Escalate. About that. Okay. But but I'm just saying it seems there seems to be. Um, there seems to be an attempt by anti-Islam activists to say, to make a problem bigger than it actually is, to make themselves more relevant. That's what I, that's what I come across as, right? Like, oh, because it cannot just be, it cannot just be one guy doing one horrible, horrific act of, you know, that we call out this like we're like no this is this is like oh no it's a mosque it's the other muslim parent um we just want to make it like we're kind of doing what the woke people do right when it comes to like racism we're trying to inflate how significant the threat is so that more people are afraid okay so that let me know if you find the um oh yeah susanna is saying on sunday two muslim Algeria women were stabbed at first at the Eiffel Tower. Wait, was this? this wow, that's pretty recent. Okay. So again, that's, yeah, I don't know if I could confirm that right now live on air. Susanna is dropping. I mean, Susanna is very reliable. So I guess that's it. Another thing I wanted no, to mention. No, that's, that's actually true. I read about that. There were two Muslim women who were stabbed. And and if anybody uh, has information about the threats, because what I'm seeing, uh, all the news reports about the mosque say that uh, they had, uh, they put up videos that were, um, quote, venting trid and the Sakopati. So they were kind of drumming up um, a campaign against Sorry, this guy. Can you say that again? You got you got cardiac. You didn't understand what you just said. Can you say that one, like, one more time? The news reports are saying that they vented hatred. These The, the mosque, the videos that they shared, vented right. hatred against. What does that mean, example? Hatred. Like, yeah, they a, hated if, the cartoon. They're allowed to hate the cartoon. And they're allowed to express like freedom of expression. We're like, oh, we're trying to, we're trying to defend freedom of expression. Oh, this teacher, like we, like we, in the name of freedom of expression, we're going after the people who just announced their hatred of a cartoon. I mean, it's their freedom of expression to be able to announce their hatred for the cartoon as well. Yeah, their hatred. Uh, they could, they hate. They could hate it. They could hate it as much as they want. They could they're... hate the teacher. They could hate the teacher for posting for po showing the cartoon, and they are they're, they're, they should be it's completely within the right to announce their hatred for the teacher um, for posting the cartoons. And what do you say about like uh, telling people to mobilize against the teacher, target him, posting the address of the school? 
Okay, dog thing should be legal. Oh. Well, that's address the, of the school. Oh no, I thought you said address of the principal. address of the school. As in, this is where you can find him. This is where the guy teaches. That's well, did where they he say failed. to do to do what? Again, it really depends on the kind to do protests in front of a school. Yeah, yeah sure, I, go about it. Share the address of the school. I mobilize the so, protest in front of the school. That's all within freedom I mean, of expression. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what you're saying, and again, like I want to actually get your real position on this. I know the devil's advocate thing, but I also want to get mm -hmm. your personal position on this because sometimes we lose that when we do this this no, thing. Right now, but, I'm just wondering. Right now, I'm just wondering yeah, yeah. what's the what's so, the, but what, what what did the mosque?